There are things that come with broadcasting yes, that uh, it's it's not easy, avoid. easy to know, that is not easy to adapt with. Uh, that is usually very difficult for those who are not used to them. But in a bid, you life in a quiver. So it's been good since morning. We started with giggles. There was strength of a woman, and now it's discussion of the day and as i promised you we are going to do long distance relationship does it work does it really work in the first place is it even a relationship when one is here in kenya and the other is in london or let me just put it closer when one is in limuru and the other is in mombasa uh, does it work does it really work this is what we are going to talk about today the long distance relationship and with me to help me demystify this are very uh, um, two beautiful ladies on set uh, one is Lillian uh, Mora good morning uh, are, you, are you Lillian Mora or Lillian Thomas both oh both of them Lillian Mora Lillian Thomas Thomas is my father tell me everything about you what you do the social media handles and all that okay so my name is Lillian Thomas I am an agriculturalist by virtue of education, but in terms of work, I am more of a media practitioner. I'm a presenter at a certain agricultural media station. Um, so basically, that's what I do. I'm a presenter, digital farmer supports, managing social media pages, and my social media pages everywhere. I'm Lillian Thomas. Are you saying that you, you studied agriculture and you are not practicing it? Nope. Who <laughs> took this beauty to agriculture? And agriculture is about getting dirty. Agriculture is about sweating out there. How did you choose this course for yourself? Oh, you know our it? system. You choose and then we to a course. Uh, so you report for the course. So honestly, Lillian, you don't like everything about agriculture. You are uh, you've diverted to media. You did that for your parents and now you are doing but what I'm, you like. I'm in an agricultural media company, so it's basically more or less something on the same lane. Mm. So it's not like I have completely abandoned agriculture. Uh, yeah. What you don't do is you don't sweat. Uh, Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you are a complete opposite of the next person who is uh, Miss Obenge. It's not your first time here and I like the fact that you keep on coming back because you are smart Thank up you. here. Yes. You are smart kuona and you are smart also kwa kwa brands. So Miss Obenge tell us about yourself. Max Rail Joshua is my name. You can call me Miss Obenge. Joshua is my father actually. Oh. Uh, Joshua Obenge. Oh, okay. That's my father. Mm -hmm. You usually call me Obenge. Or hey. not. I'm Rail Max Joshua, student of political science, international relations and diplomacy. Right now political consultant and uh, yeah, we here in Nairobi, social media handles, Rail Obenge, across all platforms. Are you saying that uh, you are a, social, uh, a political consultant, so 22 is nearing, those who want of to Of course vie, it's should... nearing, if you want to vie, vie and the people will decide for you. But you are a consultant, you uh -huh. can advise them on how to campaign and all that. My social media handles, Rail Obenge, across all platforms. You are avoiding my question. Oh no, no. <laughs> but before this, before this, you told me that you can physically farm and tend crops. Yeah, that's how I was that? brought up. No, I didn't study agriculture, but I was brought up in the farm in the middle of the village. So I think there's a all problem. that comes with it. I think there's a problem with our education system because you know, two are you, two of you are here. Somebody studied agriculture and is not practicing it. Somebody didn't study agriculture and at all, practicing it. but really practicing <laughs> it. <laughs> But that is, okay, there are different fronts of life, so where it places you is where you stay. Oh, then okay. you maximize your potential right there. Yeah, I, I, li I love that. Now let's get to this uh, elephant in the room. Uh, that is uh, long distant relationships. We are going to start with you. Can it work? Yes, it can work. But most people say as long as the four of you are in agreement, you know. Who are these four? <laughs> uh, these four are the <laughs> other side with the pair uh. and you this side with the pair. Okay, long distance relationships can work only if you build trust between yourselves. You know, you can't be communicating every day. You know, you share several things. You give yourselves the allowances you need. But the challenge comes when it gets to matters of the flesh, you know. 
What? It becomes different now. <laughs> because you can't keep saying that on phone every time. Yeah, there, there reaches a point where you have to meet. And talking of long distance relationships, we're not talking about Kisumu and Mombasa here. Uh, we're talking about someone in Minnesota and the other one is in the middle of Kisi. Uh, and y you know, you want to tell this person, you know, you need to meet every month. Yes. You need to be. Well, we can talk things out. We can be, you know, talking every single day. But it reaches a point where we draw the line. And then you ask, So, well, it works if you build trust, but it reaches a point where you say, you know, this doesn't go. And then you get to look for a deputy. So it is. To you, it can work. It cannot work. Well, it's a choice to make it work. <laughs> you said the physicality makes it, but now we are coming back to Lillian Thomas. I don't know whether you have any experience with uh, long distance relationship because science says that 75% of couples or of people in relationships have at least tried it. You know that is a whooping three quarters. Mm -hmm. Are you among the 75% Lillian Thomas? Mm, I went back like two years ago. What happened? So Tell us this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to go into details, but I'm in Nairobi and he was in Kisumu. You call that distance relationship? Uh, that long is long distance. distance. Let me tell you, Oguda, um, I have come to a point where I was talking to a friend of mine last week and he was telling me the girlfriend is in Ngong, uh -huh. the guy is in Saika. And then he told me he hasn't seen the girlfriend for like two months. Ngong and Saika. Two months. Uh -huh. That is Nairobi. You guys are within Nairobi, but uh. hampatani kabisa. I'm not a 14 a long distance. I'm to Ako Nairobi na mutu Ako Mumbai. But I think that is the choice. Are you seeing um, love there? Are you seeing love? Choice. It is a choice. Exactly. You see what Raila said yeah. about uh, trust. Yes. Again, another issue comes about security. You find some people are insecure. So me, if I am here in Nairobi, you are in Kisumu, in my head I'm always thinking, what is he doing? Mm. Is he meeting yeah. up with other people? Yeah. Yeah. Does he have yeah. another girlfriend girls who is coming to no, his not place? Girls. No, that, not only girls, that's not girls. Mostly yeah, but girls. I'm saying yeah, it's all about security. Other than trust, it's about security. Mm -hmm. Am I insecure? Am I a person who will sit down and uh, I am thinking, my partner is cheating. My partner kuna kadim kengine. Kuna kadim kamenda kwa yu nyumba. So I start making calls. Ushayona, people who are very clingy. So I start making calls over and over again. I just want to confirm. Let's do a video call. I want to see if there's someone in your house. Let's do this. <laughs> I know. To, I want to know where you are. <laughs> I want to know Show where you are. are. Pin me the location. Uh, and I, uh, can it really work if it has started that way? Like if that amount of insecurity has cropped in. I think that shows the insecurity beginning of the means end. there's no trust. Beginning of the end. Of the end, yeah. yeah. You refuse to tell me what really happened with you. Yes. <laughs> I'm coming back to it. What happened? Was it also about insecurity? Or was it about mistrust? Or what really happened? Oh, so for me, I think it was more of communication. Uh, communication, we were not on the same page. Mm -hmm. You find... Um, you see, for a long distance relationship to work, I believe communication has to be in place. Mm -hmm. So it will be more of if I am supposed to check on you in the morning, mm -hmm. tell you what I'll be doing for the day. You know, like let me be on the know, ni square, at a point where I start making assumptions mm -hmm. of what you're doing or what I am doing. So yeah. let you be on the know. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm planning for the day. I am mm -hmm. going to Y254. Yes. After Y254, I'll be doing this, I'll be doing this, I'll be doing this. I'll be held up during the day, I'll talk to you. So it's like the, you whole, know. the whole time you have to say your shit. Yeah, you know, because... In the morning, what you'll be doing, what after... Because, let me tell you, if you don't tell a lady that... Uh. We will tell ourselves. Assumption. And then we start having issues that don't add up. This is why I doubt if this can really work. <laughs> Rachel, do you have an experience with this so that we, we also see if you have uh, a story to tell about it? Long distance relationship. Yeah, I've tried it once. It, it worked for, for long enough. What is long enough? And then it decided to stop working. And, you know, <laughs> <laughs> when something stops working, you decide to leave it. If you cannot repair a, a broken radio, no, you let it stay. Communication is key, just as she said. Yes. When you communicate too much, mm. it I, I, becomes a problem. What I, want, what I want with you mm -hmm. is if, what, what the, if you have an experience with this, so what really happened? Why? How long did it last? Because I want personal experience. This how long did it work? 
uh, and then what happened because two years. We, know, we want to know practically two years two years yeah where was he the guy spent two years in Seychelles and I decided to find a deputy because <laughs> <laughs> okay I wasn't cheating don't make it feel like I was cheating or something yes, you were cheating. Cheating. no that cheating. was a deputy you were cheating on your own well, life if you have too dis- much work what do you do you get to find a helper you right you delegated his duty to somebody of course yeah because he wasn't there and there were things that were going down so what was i supposed to do <laughs> wow. well it worked for some time because we were in constant communication yes and then he decided to get so busy mm. to a point that we were communicating enough yes and then he got too busy so we were not communicating enough and communication went and went and went down and collapsed and you know in my mind i assumed that he has something better to do so new jeep yeah i yes. should find something else to do you gave so him that by time. the time it was two years mm. i was celebrating another nine months in another relationship wow. because it couldn't just <laughs> you know it it wasn't it wasn't making sense and then he came back and was like so you replaced me yeah i did uh, oh i replaced you too <laughs> Like, it wasn't working it after is all. Assumed, it is assumed that those who are abroad, no, mostly, it works when the guy is abroad and the lady is, is here. He, is at home. Yeah, he's at home. Why? And I know why Kenyan ladies, I know something about Kenyan ladies that you really, you really love money. Yeah, mm. we're patient with those you, who are abroad for really two years. Money. And we cannot <laughs> so have when he's sending, when he's sending, it's just okay. When he's sending money, everything is just okay. You think so? Yeah, but I know, so? I know us. I know my sisters. You That's know an sisters. assumption. I know you with money. No, it's not about <laughs> money. I told you about matters of the flesh, man. Can you stay for oh, three years? Okay. Every cycle comes and goes. On, and you're like, when Buddha. are you coming back? Well, well okay, Lydia, tell me something. And then we have people, you see people have different love languages. Yes. Mm. Kunam to love language, yake, it's touch. Yes. How do you expect this person to stay for two years? But you do video Two. calls, so, no. so you no, no, can't no, touch no, the screen. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, Thank you so someone, much. You know, like something as little as just touching yes. the hand. You know, uh-huh. small, small things, mm-hmm. hugging. Mm-hmm. Like it just makes them happy. Yeah. And then when you come a long distance relationship for two years and you expect it to work for them. For some people it can't. But not even two years is not even long enough. I have a shemeji, I have a, a, a cousin who went abroad for 11 years. Mm. 11 but wow. he left the wife at home who had a backup the, the, the there was no backup <laughs> you, you can never be too I, sure I, <laughs> <laughs> and he's so sure I maybe he was the back was no never backup. Be too sure. <laughs> there was no backup 11 years and my shemedi is still there we celebrate her because we believe nothing happened even if it happened she was not caught somebody told me that there is an 11th commandment created by the devil 11th and 12 11th says thou shall not be caught and the 12th says if you are caught deny 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 but then good <laughs> let's say this i think it's working for them because it is a marriage, marriage setup exactly. yes. when you enter into marriage you you know i am committed to this it has to work yes there's no other way about it yes. we'll just have to make it work and by the way you they know, already had some kids so e- exactly it's a marriage setup yeah. but now Quoting. Me, yes. me too. too. why on other meditating someone i'm not seeing for two years what's the essence but you call each other every day and until you yeah. take some time from this time to this time we are video calling and doing your things you like see how long this kissing, has... kissing the, ah, screen. It's okay. the screen we've talked about <laughs> it's communication <laughs> we've talked about trust we've talked about security and then now when you are in a long distance relationship i think it's time you start planning we have to be meeting at this time yes. like yeah. after one month mm. we have to be meeting yeah. yes because other than that you guys will lose track of what is happening i remember my ex used to tell me there's a time i came to nairobi like i went to kisumu in august i came back to nairobi so August, September, October. Someday he just texted me, I call like, Hujawai Kujaki Sumu, you don't want to know what's going on with my life. Uh, we are not meeting up, you don't know what is going on. You know, there's a lot that can go yes. on. Kwa simu. Kwa simu neza kwambia. Niko sawa. Siju, you know, yeah. over the phone we, I we. can lie. Mbona ukuenda kisumu? Kisumu is not fine. It's 1,000 bob using a bus. Or if you fly, it's about 7,000. Why did you go to Kisumu? What were you doing in Nairobi now? 
I was held up with work. So every time you're planning, <laughs> no, 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 every time you're planning, I'll come next weekend, something comes up. Mm. I'll come next weekend, something comes up. And then you see someone starts getting disappointed. Mm. It's like you're not fully devoted to this. Mm. You're not fully committed yeah. to this. Yeah. So una pata pia yeye ananza kulose interest. Yes. They start with drawing. Yes. But that's just how you fall apart. Uh, uh, let's come to you, Rachel. On this whole relationship thing, there's how love is nurtured, there's how it's especially communication. The fact that now you are more communicating than you know, in decent relationships, someone says that you are more communicating than when you are in, yeah, when in, in physic, physically there. Why don't we use this platform like the communication, the advanced communication to make the relationship flourish? Why couldn't you just use that? Okay, from the beginning, you know, when nurturing a relationship, first, distance should be considered. You get a point where you met someone online, you know, and then they're going to stay there for the next seven months before coming to meet you for the first time, maybe, or for the second or third time. So you keep chatting, but down here, you know, your life is going on. Once you switch off your data, once your phone is off, once connection is off, it's a whole lot of something else. Mm. It's a totally different life. Yes. So uh, before we get to long distance, we need to nurture a relationship from yes. physical basis. Mm. You get to know someone, you get to build that trust, you get to have, you know, spend time together so that when he is away, at least you have memories to cling on. When he is away, you have something to be thinking about. But when you start a relationship and then two months or two, three months into the relationship, mm -hmm. he goes away. You're like, well, we didn't build such a strong bond anyway. So if he goes, I can't continue with what I was doing before him. And then when he comes back, we'll pick from there. So you keep communication. When you send the laughing emojis, but your face is like... <laughs> you know, it's that is you, the reality. You, you, you keep pretending. Your emojis are laughing, but you somewhere are crying, and he's making a very nice story. And then when you video calls you, are you fine? Yeah, I'm fine. I was sleeping. Your eyes are so much sunken. Yes. So, getting to build a relationship before it gets to long distance, it needs quasi physical contact mm. so that you get to know someone so well to a point in you can read messages. I can quit a hi, hi, you're good. You're mm. like, Something mm -hmm. is wrong. Mm -hmm. I, have you a get to I have a relationship coach, coach called Jen Ochuodo. She's, she teaches family life in SDA church. Mm -hmm. She's, she told me that uh, what happens with the long distance relationship, the beauty of it is that every time you meet, you are visitors to each other. Yes. There's something new. Yeah, something new and very beautiful. Like when maybe I'm in Nairobi. Oh, let's use Lillian's example. She's in Nairobi, the guy's in Kisumu. When she goes to Kisumu, it's like Wageni Wamekutana, new. everything yeah. is very good and flourishing. Likewise, when the guy comes here. And uh, so it's sweet that way done. Like saying, uh, you are always together. You are always together. But so I, I don't know, maybe it's duration of meeting. Can we, because this is a relationship, like it's not you are apart forever. Yeah. It's not like you are apart forever. You are just apart sometimes. Can we set the limits like we should be apart for such a given time, say two months of what, then we come back together. Can you try setting this time ratio? I'll come back to Lily and let's start with Factors you. dictating the time spent away are so many. Mm. It can be your choice. Like, I'm here in Nairobi, the guy is at home. You know where home is, mm. is not in Nairobi. Yes. So, I'm here in Nairobi, the guy is at home, and then he says, right, what you do, after two weeks, come home on Friday, mm. And then you'll get back on Sunday. Yes. That he can dictate, right? And then someone, let me just use Minnesota and Kisi. Yes. Someone is in Minnesota working there, has a particular schedule given to him by the government. And then you want to tell this person, you know, after four months, you should be flying home. Hmm. We want to meet. And then the guy says, this is a relationship, this is not a marriage. The guy says, after every four months, I'll be flying from Minnesota. That is... $2,000. Quite expensive. For an air ticket. Yes. $2,000. Mm. 
and you're coming home to where there is no investment mm. to where there is no business to where there is no money and that is the money you want to make there and then you say no i can't be going home every two months or three months or four months to see a woman when i have better things to do like making money and there are also women that are there and there are women here <laughs> so you know matter of dictating <coughs> whether we are going to meet after a particular time mm. are quite hard people some people have unpredicted schedules so unapigiwa tu simu unajua next week tunaenda place fulani and then you are going there to spend the entire weekend yes and then next that that same weekend you are supposed to be home so this this is where understanding comes in you need to have a, a very understanding partner who you will tell You know our schedule was this way but it was changed so I might not be coming home alafu mimi kama Ryan atakwambia sasa umeenda kuwa na wanawake si ndio that is why you don't want It's to come home jumping to conclusion exactly. on topic we, we are discussing so I'm telling you umeenda kuwa na wanawake that is why you don't want to come home <laughs> and then it is even worse when you plan twice or thrice and this is on the man's side mm. you plan mm. to come you fail a schedule you plan to come again you fail and the third time you plan to come you fail mimi nimechoka na wewe honestly i get tired because it's not going to work that way or you get to say si uhame si uache kazi like when in that state of disappointment and anger you get to say a lot of things that you might regret after mm. afterwards mm. yeah uh, uh, lilian let's come to you uh science says at 37% are hoping that 37% of the, of distance relationship long distance relationship when they reunite they separate within three months like when they come back when they get physical now the physicality that you want now you want them to be physically present Rachel calls the matters flesh within three months they separate don't you now think that it's better we have online relationship because it, it in fact another son says 60% of them flourish Ayah, let me first pick it from Riles end yes. and then i answer what you've asked yes, yes. so i think for cases like the one she's giving minnesota kenya yes i think one of the minnesota kisi minnesota kisi yeah. yeah. <laughs> i think one of the biggest constraints is financial it is a big problem especially when someone is really far away and you're thinking booking the ticket and everything finances become a problem but then again the thing about meeting there's something we call compromise yes there's something we call compromise kabisa si lazima iko ni yeye anakuja kama wewe unaweza enda if you, your schedule then is flexible mm-hmm. and he can afford basi to pay your ticket instead for you to go you'd rather go instead of yeye hajakuja wajua zile vitando gondogo yeye ndiye anafaa kukuja yeye hajakuja so so you get to balance yes you get to balance so ingine pia unaangalia unaona yenyewe yeye ameshikana sana the kind of work he does it doesn't really give him the time to do that so i can just step in and go it won't make you any less of a person right because you love the person there's something you mentioned about um coming back to when you reunite when you geographically or physically unite you do you separate again yeah. why now there's something you said about how when you meet in akwanga all flow nini flowery and yes. stuff yes Um, honeymoon every day eh, eh, long <laughs> distance na kuanga na kaleka kituka you have expectations yes. when you're going to meet you know you, it's supposed to be a moment we cherish because hatujaonana for a while yeah. but i come i have expectations you have expectations mm-hmm. Your expectations are not met. Um, Whatever you had in mind yes. is not what you get. You get disappointed. Yes. Now the thing about tukshaka na wewe umerudi to me resettle for like three months. I told you over the phone we can be totally different people. Mm-hmm. All happy, all nice. You know, sometimes when yeah. you I'm like, "No baby, it's okay. I mm. understand. Mm. It's okay babe. I don't have an issue. Mm. It's okay babe. Let But me tell you tukshaka hapa na wewe. Mm-hmm. My patience itaisha. Uh. You do something I'll snap. Yeah. What? How ni do it? Utafanya kitu ni jam by the way. Ni jam serious. Ni jam uko like this is not the person I knew. The person I knew is a really calm girl, a very silent person, very understanding who you deem I'm a change. Eh, uh, we'll see the mm-hmm. Lilian I knew. So the narrative starts. Are you really Lilian? Exactly. Unaanza kusema ni me change. Oh then seems nzuri she's rude she is it's because you hadn't met me you know when i can't pretend for too long mm. when we are in physical contact i can't pretend for three months mm. oh good i can't even pretend for a whole week 
It's Neza too long. pretend leo yeah. because I am welcoming you to say mume kuja kwangu you coming mm -hmm. home. You know, I'll be all nice yes. and nice and nice. Kasho, Kasho, you do something and I'm like, uh, I actually don't like people leaving socks at the door. Yeah. When you get to the house, what? pick your socks up. Like, yeah. 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 And you go like, ukingia kwa nyumba, tafadhali chukwa socks weke kwa laundry baskets. Uh, when they kwa washroom and then I'm like, uh, I actually don't like someone leaving the toilet seat up. Kindly, please we rude shit. You see, I can't pretend for way too long. And then the uh, moment I start showing my true self, like this is what I prefer, this is what not I prefer, okay. it is totally different from what you knew from online. Kuna jama chachi yetu, ali mari on a Sunday. So when it came to Sabbath, I worship on Saturdays. When it came to Sabbath, now welcoming him in front of the congregation, what he said was that, Mtuombe, ndawa yiko na changamoto sana. Ndawa yiko na changamoto. And he has been married for six, six days. days. Yeah, six days. Married for six days. Six. So, so um, um, don't you think, Rachel, coming back to you, mm. that the best now, the best way of staying is to kutane for two days, Urudi kwenye ulikuwa for another two months to kutane again for two days, three days. Urudi. Don't you think this now is what makes Sunny Moon Forever idea thing work? For you, fine. <laughs> for me, no. Explain. Explain. <laughs> Before the show, uh, when I was talking to you, I told you that there, there are things I personally, as Rachel, mm. cannot do. Mm. One is being in a long distance relationship. What I saw in my relationship, I'd rather stay single. I'd rather, I'd rather stay single. I'd rather stay single <laughs> than get into a long distance relationship. It has several temptations. So if we have to meet for two days and then you get to go, you call that a relationship, it's not going to work. For me, it's not going to work. Why? Because every time, well, we're renewing it, you know, it's getting good once again, you make it feel like it's new, and then you are gone, and it's going to become boring because that is the routine you're going to set. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a routine. Hey. And then it becomes boring. No, but so a, there is a point. Kuja, akikuja si mnafanya everything, all you want. Which then is okay. Before misiane, be, hiyo time sasa mkehaga, ti, sitaki kuniambia ti unayanda. Which is just okay. And all that, but yes. where I draw the line is where it now becomes a routine. You know, in a relationship, th for you to keep it on top, things must be unpredictable. You don't have to be a predictable person. Mm -hmm. So when you say you get yourself a schedule of Ntakwana kuja after two months so that we don't stay together yes. to know each other that deep. Why should you know to each other when we have to To unearth the terrible secrets of the things I'm doing <laughs> when you are away. For you to get to be patronizing and control me, we don't stay together for that long. And then we don't stay away for long enough to let you start thinking I'm cheating. I'd rather stay single. <laughs> you know. you far away. Let me just finish, please. You far away. I am expected, you know, to be faithful. Let yes, me say yes, so. Yes. Yeah. I should. You be are faithful. required to be faithful by law and everything, I especially am, when you are a lady. Yes. I am expected. Yes. To be faithful. I'm not required to be faithful. <laughs> and it's a choice. <laughs> Expectation. Yeah. I'm expected to be faithful. And it reaches a point when you're going to disappoint. You're flirting with someone. Just flirting. You're getting to talk to someone. And then, you know, to be to the bottom. You're meeting up, taking coffee. You're not sleeping together. Just meeting How up. How can you take coffee. coffee with another person? A a good day. Relationship. So I cannot take coffee with you because I'm in a relationship, right? Hmm. Is that right? I shouldn't take coffee with you because I'm in a relationship. You should not take coffee being with another man. You know, coffee, being coffee in is a romantic. There's something related. There's, <laughs> there, you know, there's a, there's a theory called uh, symbolism theory by somebody called George somebody. That there are things that symbolize things like coffee symbolizes romance and love. You are taking coffee with another person and you have a relationship is wrong. Because my life should not go on when you're away, right? <laughs> yeah. Is that it? My you life should not continue uh, when you're away. The two days when you are meeting. 
no if you are talking about <laughs> Netflix and Rain I can understand but when you're talking about coffee in a java somewhere in town my life should go on when you are away and when you come back those are the things that are going to make us break up 3 months after you're back you're going to realize some things that I was doing that you didn't expect me to do and then you get disappointed and you call it quits what yeah <laughs> okay oh, good day right you na lilian finish that and add for me something about you know we are human we have flaws when we are once apart you don't you really see my flaws i only come to you and i'm prepared to talk to you always good things nothing negative or very minimally negative yeah. so you don't see a lot of my flaws you you idolize me you dream of me as very perfect, perfect person me. yes mm-hmm. But don't you think this enhances Uh, relationship finish with what you wanted to say then come jump to this oh yeah i think i really understand what Riley is talking about yes. earlier this year let me call it an entanglement that was interrelationship for sure uh there was this guy i was seeing and then the guy works like something with national security mm-hmm. so he'd be like ah babe tunapata na weekend yes. sawa so saturday me after church we meet up on sunday we meet up and then he's like um nimetoa job yes na come mm. Acha niende job alafu nikirudi na kukola. Uh-huh. Anaenda job alafu anaambia nimetumwa mbali uh-huh. nitarudi. Uh-huh. So it used to happen. He goes two, three weeks. He's not in Kenya. <laughs> Communication <laughs> is gone. <laughs> gone. <laughs> three weeks he's done. But uja mako job anakutafutia riziki, anakutafutia future. Is that three weeks ameenda? Si ndio? Umenyambia ni relationship. Yes. Three weeks you don't make any effort of even texting or anything sawa WhatsApp because na njoo uko nje umeshikana. Ni sawa. Serving the nation. Ni sawa. Mm-hmm. Unaenda unarudi, ukirudi hiyo <laughs> siku umefika hivi. Mambo Lilian ni kwa round. Tunaweza patana? Uh-huh. Sawa, tunapatana. Uh-huh. It became a routine. You see the way she's saying about yes. routine. Yeah, Routines boring. are boring. No one boring. likes routine mm-hmm. no one likes routine mm-hmm. eti ndikuwa najua utakuja ni tafute friday ukirudi <laughs> alafu sunday uniambie umetwa job alafu umeenda alafu for another yeah. three weeks alafu rudi and then you want us to keep doing that over and over again it gets boring and then you see me i am a person i talk to everyone my social life will continue mm-hmm. work shend is three weeks my social life is going on waking oh, up guda aniambie niende for lunch i am going for lunch waking up b- besides you every day is also a routine don't you think that is also it's boring boring that is why mnambuangwa in marriage you have to do something to spice up spice it up spice it up or else it is boring especially as a long distance uh-huh. ati unaenda unakuja after three weeks a weekend unaenda unakuja after three weeks uh-huh. it's boring yeah. we can do that oh, cool. routine but so we now, can't do that now i don't see what comes that is fine ladies <laughs> I, i found somebody reading a very big book on how to how to fully Let satisfy a lady oh, I mean, that is one. Volume one. <laughs> it didn't volume one was yeah. was big this way and it, and it came up with it. nothing because you don't want the routine uh, my to coming after three weeks you don't want me to wake besides you every day you don't, you don't want, want me to, to be forever. to stay away forever <laughs> yeah. you don't want Find me to, to be with you forever <laughs> yes. now what shall i do It's, Find a middle ground. A what middle is the ground. middle ground? What is the middle ground, <coughs> Rachel? What middle ground. tell me tell me the ideal middle ground? It now. is not a middle ground. It is you being unpredictable. So every time you come up with something new which I will never come up with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something so it's you to come up with something interesting. You know, when you come one time we go to a fun park, we go zip lining, blah 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 and then you call it a weekend or you call it a week no that week you're there we had fun and uh, then there is another week when you come some other time we keep staying indoors all that it's time it's like chill yeah <laughs> you, you you stay indoors all that time and then another week you come with some situanda to one family you know you come up with something new some new idea so that it doesn't get to be akikuja tutaenda tu tukule kuku utakuwa expect akuje because you don't know what he has in yeah, mind so our, our time is much spent right. say something uh, for those who are trying to or, or, or want to venture in a uh, long distance relationship or those who are already in them say something that's your comment a long distance relationships will work for you if you build trust between yourselves and then you get to lower your expectations much on each other that way it will work but if you have so many expectations and then you trust less 
when you trust the other person less, then it might not work because every time you're living there in suspicion, every time you're living there thinking about the negatives of the other person rather than the positive. So build trust within yourselves and you will have a good way. Thank you. Uh, you are also going to tell us your last remarks. You are camera is still camera one. Okay, added to trust, make sure you're very good in communication. You're very good in communication. Your security is way above the level, like usque insecure. And then there's compromise. And then I think the thing that holds everything, make sure you're very intentional about the relationship. Once you are intentional about what you want, how you need it to work, it will work. Oh, good. Oh, people may be world apart. People may be world apart. But you know, when you are in real love, your hearts will be together. So what you do, just work on communication and trust, as my sisters have said, then it can work. It doesn't work. In fact, 60%, according to science, works. So if you are, love somebody in UK, if there's somebody in, in USA that loves me, let's run, let's start it. For now, bye. Everybody who made this possible, the technical, the transmission, the production team, salute. <laughs>